Once upon a time, in the cold heart of a bustling city, lived a poor little girl. The locals called her the Little Match Girl. She had ragged clothes that barely shielded her from the biting frost of the city's winter, and her tiny feet were bare, red from the nippy wind. One particular evening, as the sun hid behind a thick blanket of icy clouds, the Little Match Girl wandered about the city's snow-paved lanes. Freezing night was growing darker, and every household she passed was brimming with warmth and laughter. The festive season was upon the city, and the joyous chatters and golden lights made her heart ache with longing. In her frail hands, she held a bunch of matches she hoped to sell, but no one noticed her. Her stomach rumbled with hunger and her feet ached with cold, but she didn't complain. She just kept walking, hoping for a buyer. Her eyes caught sight of a large, ornate house. Through the window, she saw a family gathered around a massive Christmas tree adorned with twinkling lights and shining baubles. The children were laughing, opening their presents, and in the fireplace, a grand fire crackled, sparks dancing in the warmth. Feeling her own chill deepen, the little match girl decided to light one of her matches to keep herself warm. The tiny flame sprang to life, flickering against the harsh wind. As she stared into the bright light, something magical happened. The flame grew larger, and soon, she wasn't just holding a match. She was in the ornate house, right by the roaring fire, feeling its warmth seep into her frozen bones. The children laughed around her, and the rich smell of roast turkey filled her nostrils. The illusion was so vivid, she could almost taste the sweet hot chocolate on her tongue. But just as quickly as it had appeared, the vision faded, leaving her back on the snowy lane with a spent matchstick. The sudden shift startled her, but the lingering warmth gave her hope. She struck another match, and this time, she saw a grand feast. Tables laden with all sorts of food that she had only ever dreamt of. She reached out to take a bite, but just as her fingers brushed the juicy apple, the light went out. Her heart pounding with excitement, she struck another match, and another. Each time, the flame would bring forth a different vision, her own pair of warm boots, a thick coat, a room full of toys. But as the match burned out, so did her dreams, leaving her colder and lonelier than before. Finally, she was down to her last match. She hesitated, her hand trembling from the cold and anticipation. What if this match didn't bring anything? What if she was left alone in the cold, with no hope, no warmth? Just then, she remembered her dear grandmother, who had passed away some time ago. She was the kindest soul, who showered the little girl with love and affection. The thought of her made the little match girl's heart feel heavy. She missed her grandmother's warm embrace and the stories she used to tell. So. She made a wish, her voice barely a whisper in the cold night. I wish you were here, grandmother, she said, her voice catching in her throat. With that, she struck the last match. Suddenly, she felt a warmth enveloping her. It was a warmth more tender, more comforting than anything the previous matches had conjured. Turning around, she saw a figure that made her heart leap with joy. It was her grandmother, smiling at her with love-filled eyes. She looked as real as she had in life, her features illuminated by the soft glow of the match. The little match girl could not believe her eyes. She reached out tentatively, expecting her hands to pass through like it had with the visions before. But instead, she felt a solid, warm hand gripping hers, squeezing it reassuringly. Oh, 
grandmother, she exclaimed, tears of joy welling in her eyes. My dear child, her grandmother said, wrapping her arms around the little girl, I've missed you too. The cold no longer seemed so biting, the hunger not so gnawing, as the little match girl buried her face in her grandmother's warm embrace. The love and the warmth her grandmother radiated was more powerful than any illusion the matches had brought forth. The little girl felt a warmth spread through her body, a warmth that sprouted from her heart and engulfed her in its embrace. As the final match began to burn out, the little girl's heart pounded. Was she going to lose her grandmother again? But as the flame flickered and died, her grandmother still held her. She was real. It was a Christmas miracle. With a laugh of pure joy, the grandmother swept the little match girl into her arms. Come, my dear, she said, her eyes sparkling in the moonlight, I have a warm home waiting for us. The little match girl could hardly believe what was happening. She was finally free from the cold, the hunger, and the loneliness. Her grandmother was back, and she was no longer a poor little match girl. She was just a little girl, loved and cared for. Hand in hand, they walked away from the snowy lane towards a home filled with love and warmth. The city's night grew darker, the festive lights twinkled brighter, and in the hearts of the grandmother and the little match girl, joy bloomed like a flower in the spring. They found their happy ending in the love they had for each other, a love that burned brighter than any match. So, the little match girl learned that wishes do come true, that hope is a flame that never dies, and that love, even if it's from someone who isn't with us anymore, can bring warmth even in the coldest of winters. And the people in the city, who once didn't notice her, began to see her as the girl who held the warmest of flames, the flame of love and hope. And that, my dear, is the end of our tale. May you have sweet dreams and wake up to a beautiful new day and have all your wishes come true.